Alright guys, today we are heard out here on Cuatro Colinas for the first time since we got the albino rooster because on this occasion I wanna retake the grind for the super elusive melanistic pheasant that we've been trying to find for the last couple years without any success. So on this occasion we'll be checking some multiplayer sessions to hopefully have a good shot at finding a mela rooster and possibly come across some interesting stuff like this max estimate throw deer track. He may be a level 3 and maybe the first diamond of the hunt so we gotta do our best to find it. Alright guys, I just heard a warning call from a road here, just in front of us. Oh, right there. Is he big? Well, apparently it has a level 2 rack, so it is most likely a level 2. Yeah, he's only a level 2 with a top estimate of 80, he has no chance to be diamond, unfortunately. Let's see. We got him good, he's down. He's only a level 2, which will probably score below 80 trophy rating, but being a max estimate, it is still a nice find, at least I see it that way. And in case you wanna know, at the moment I am right here, because I was heading towards these fields to look for pheasants, since they are a good place to find them, but then I stumbled across this road here, which has a score of 72.61, it is a medium sized gold, not especially big to be a max estimate, but as I said, it is still a nice find. Now, this is definitely something I wanted to find, the max estimate pheasant track. As you can see, the max weight range for the pheasant is 2 to 3 kilograms, so whenever you find one of these tracks, you can be sure that it's something worth tracking because it can only be a big level 2 or a diamond potential level 3. Well, in fact, the pheasants can also make diamond at level 2, so whenever you see a max estimate level 2, make sure to never ignore it. Ok, unfortunately this pheasant is heading exactly towards the position of other players, which is not ideal. I mean, of course, I don't want to interrupt anyone's hunt. So we gotta be careful, and I really hope he is not too far. Okay, fling, that must be him. Luckily, he's close. And there he is, level 2 max estimate, top estimate of 22, he may be diamond. That's a massive level 2. In fact, if I remember correctly, my only level 2 diamond pheasant had the exact same estimate, so that is a good sign, this may be our second. Let's see. He is down. And now let's see if this promising level 2 is in fact big enough to be the first diamond of the hunt. I really hope it is, I mean getting a second level 2 diamond pheasant would be fantastic. Let's see a score. 19.41, he's only gold, sadly he scored really close to the bottom of the estimate, so he ended up being only a big gold, which is quite far from diamond, well he's less than 1 point shy away from the diamond score, which is not a lot, but I was honestly expecting it to be bigger, so he's not that massive. At least the tracking distance was not too long, because it is common to have to track these species for multiple kilometers. Alright guys, we are still on multiplayer and look at this. 5 to 7 kilograms, that is the track of a max estimate European hair. I don't even remember the last time I got a diamond of this species, but it is often regarded as the rarest diamond in the game, so they are far from being common. Now, as for the locations where it's possible to find European hares here on Cuatro Colinas, their home range is actually very simple because they inhabit pretty much the entire map. You know, they can be found all around the reserve, so there are not many locations that you could say are better than the others. For example, these fields up here are one of the few spots where normally it's easier to spot these hares in my experience. The same can be said about these other fields down here and for the ones located on the eastern region. Also, at least in my experience, the area around this hill, which is known for being the home of the BCT Ibex, is also a good spot to find lots of hares. I mean, at the end of the day, it really depends on your map, because each map is different, and the locations that tend to be good for me may not be as good on your map. Okay, that's a female fleeing, that may be her. Let's see if we can see her. Level 1 male. 
Another level 1. Maybe one of those. Yeah, level 2, max estimate. Top estimate of 6, she may be diamond. I mean, this species can actually make it below max level, so the chance is there, but of course that chance is way lower than if it was a level 3. And there she is. Am I used the 12th Cage Cachatore? And that's it, she's down. And now it's time to see how big is this level 2 hair. I don't expect it to be diamond since it is not a level 3, but we cannot rule out a surprise since we know the level 2 diamond hairs are a thing. So let's see how big it is. Oh, no way! 6.53 diamond. Level 2 diamond European hair. That's insane. We may have just gotten the rarest diamond in the game. Well, I don't know if it is the rarest diamond, but it's definitely up there. What a nice trophy. 6.45 kilograms. The weight is more on the low side, but luckily she scored above the diamond requirement. to 240 kilograms, that is the track of a max estimate Walbor, which may be a level 5. Look, this is one of the most common max estimates, so I really doubt it will be max level because it is quite a wide range and most of these max estimates are gonna be level 4s, but we still gotta do our best to find it, I mean, you never know. You know, the Walbor drinks from midnight to 3am and they actually share the same home range with both the road deer and the pheasants, so you can find them on pretty much the same locations, including this area up here, which is normally the best area to look for Walbors, road deers and pheasants, although you can also find them across the entire lower region of the map, which is also a good spot, same case for the central region. Also, it is possible to find the species around this area right here, mostly close to the river, as well as on the top of the map, between these two lakes. Okay, there's a male boar right there, it's fleeing. Maybe the big one. Well, that's a female, but I imagine it is part of the same group. Right there. A couple females. And that's the max estimate, level 4, top estimate of 141, no chance to be diamond, unfortunately. Oh, come on. He's out of sight now, and apparently we'll have to continue a chase, which is something I didn't want, because, we, well, we know it is not a diamond, then I'm not a fan of chasing things that I know won't score that high. Alright, there he is. Roughly 130 meters out. We are gonna have to rush the shot here. And we hit him, but I'm honestly not sure of how good. Honestly, I don't care, it is just a gold. Well, unfortunately, we didn't hit a barrel, but as I said, it doesn't matter because it doesn't have any chance to be diamond. As you can see, it has a score of 141.12, it is a really big gold, he scored pretty much at the top of the estimate, and yeah, we ended up hitting the spine after rushing the shot after a chase of 1.65 kilometers. Look at the size of that. A level 5 southeastern Spanish Ibex. And he's massive. You know, it's been a really long time since I got a diamond of this species, and actually I think that since Cuatro Colinas was released, I've only gotten two level 5 southeastern Spanish Ibex because most of my diamonds have been level 4 since this species normally makes it below max level. Like, I don't know if it was intended, but the vast majority of the diamonds southeastern Ibex that get posted are level 4 and some of them are even below the max weight range. Now, as for the locations where it's possible to find southeastern Spanish ibex, first you need to know that all the ibex species actually drink at the same time, from 1000 to 1400. 
Although regardless sharing the same drink time, each of the ibex species inhabits a different section of the map, like for example the southeastern Spanish ibex can only be found around the southeastern hill Colina Santa, you know you can find them drinking on all these lakes as well as on the river, plus on this area down here, including these two lakes. Now if you wanna find another of the ibex species, which is the Ronda ibex, you need to make sure to look around the northeastern hill, which includes these five lakes. Then, as for the BCT Ibex, it is possible to find them on all the lakes around the northwestern hill, all around this area. And as for the last of the four Ibex species, which is the Gritos Ibex, you have to check the southwestern hill, including all the bodies of water around it, plus this part of the river, which can also have a good amount of drink zones. Now, let's drop this monster. He's roughly 160 meters out. So I'ma use the 44 lever action rifle. Let's see. And we got him good, that's it. So let's see a score of this very promising level 5 southeastern Spanish Ibex, maybe our personal best. Look at the horns. You know, they may not be as massive in comparison with the horns of the other Ibex species, but to be a southeastern, they are massive. Let's see a score. 90.49, he's a diamond. The small diamond, he's less than one point above from the diamond score, so surprisingly, he's not a big diamond. Well, weight-wise, he's actually incredibly close from being a max weight, because the max weight is 87 kilograms, and this guy weighs 86.99, only one decimal away. So definitely not a bad trophy, certainly not as big as I was expecting, but a diamond is a diamond, and he made it.